Well, after the toughest of years, at last, some good news for anyone working in manufacturing here in the West Midlands. The quarterly manufacturing barometer survey has shown confidence is at a two-year high for small and medium-sized firms. More than half plan to invest in technology and take on new staff. Well, Ben Sidwell has been gauging the feel-good factor on the factory floor in Staffordshire. A busy and thriving factory floor for this company established more than 50 years ago. But the past 15 months have been the most challenging in the history of PP control and automation in Cheslin Hay in Staffordshire. There was a lot of uncertainty and a lot of, a lot of dread to be honest because we won't know what, what was around the corner. I mean I, I was put on furlough for three months, I wasn't sure what was going to be coming back to. The company which employs 233 people build control and automation systems that go into complex machinery for customers in sectors including printing, metal cutting, security and food processing and packaging. It's been quite challenging to be fair. We've had a lot of people who've been on furlough but our work rate has stayed high. But we've managed to be fair but um, we've, all we're seeing there is we're just getting busier and busier. The business decided not to close and in fact only furloughed around a quarter of their staff. And when they did lose trade, they adapted, making more than 50,000 items for UK ventilators. And that's meant they prospered and are now trading above pre-pandemic levels. And that success has been reflected in another way. While other firms have had to lay off staff during the pandemic, here they've taken on 15 new workers in the past three months, including Jordan Wilkes. I've been in the retail sector for the last five years. And I just thought, I'm still young enough to go somewhere else, learn something else. So I decided to come into this industry. I felt like it was a good progression route within this industry. After a drop of 15% in revenue last year due to COVID, the firm's growth forecast is for a rise of 30% for 2021. Generally speaking, UK manufacturing is really buoyant at the moment. It's recovered well. I think the biggest fear at the moment is supply chain. Uh, we are seeing a lot of supply chain disruption, we're seeing lead times get pushed out and that's almost jeopardising the speed of the recovery. A busy factory at a business that's looking optimistically to the future. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands Today, Cheslin Hay. Well, earlier I spoke to the Regional Director of the Manufacturing Growth Programme, Dean Barnes. They've looked in many ways to re-strategise, they've looked to diversify. And the confident levels now that we've seen from this report really are astounding. Presumably, though, there are still major challenges ahead. Oh, absolutely there are. Um, the, the intelligence from the survey offers businesses a unique advantage in terms of supporting their future growth ambitions. However, um, even though companies may be feeling a little bit more confident and optimistic, over half of the companies in the survey are still trading at levels lower than they were pre-pandemic. So what the companies are really calling for at the end of this report is for some longer term continued support from government to help them to recover and grow in the future. Interesting how many firms are thinking about new ways of working, including obviously uh, from home. Yes, absolutely. Um, the, the companies have been very flexible in the approach, as we all had to be. Uh, over the past 12 months during lockdown and there's a lot of restrictions that have been lifted into what was let's call a standard way of operating and working. There's much more flexibility in the mix between homework and office work and factory work. Now. Would you have believed that you could have been talking so positively say a year ago? No, no, no. I, I guess many companies back then Nick were probably going through some form of scenario planning looking at what the order book might look, uh, look like with perhaps 25% or 50%, 75% less. Who knows? And to, to have this sort of really positive, confident news now is really fantastic. Dean Barnes from the Manufacturing Growth Programme talking to me earlier.